This is the Glen of Aherlow. And this mountain here is the Galti Moor, Galti Bjog, and Cush. And hopefully we're going to try and do Cush today. My dad and my uncle are going to do the, the other two, but we'll see how I do today. <laughs> What's this? Map. Oh, the map. Yes. After all the leaks. After the map. Just realised I've been filming for ages. I just picked up some wool from these little lammies. Look at his little face. He's not even scared. Mummy, come back, mummy. I don't know what mass this is, but it's the best. It's so squishy. <laughs> it makes me really happy. <laughs> anyway, we're almost at the top of Kush now. We climbed all the way up from down there. So we're a little bit sweaty. I think that just up there, that's the top. Let's go on a journey. Dame's over there. We're gonna make this. We're gonna do this. Got hair, hair on my face. Ugh. We've been finding loads of um, um, wool, wool on the ground from the sheep, and it's got lots of guard hairs in it. I don't know what type of sheep it is, but I think most Irish sheep on mountains are. Have sheep have wool for carpets and stuff, it's quite coarse. So I'm gonna try and spin a bit anyway. Be cool. Oh, there's some. I'll just show you. Nice little lock. That's lovely. I'm gonna pop that in my bucket. I don't know which bucket I have, I think. Oh, we're nearly there. more over there which means big galty there it is I can see what you're seeing now coming up here onto the top of Kush Mountain it's a nice light breeze today not very harsh perfect climbing weather for me I need to be kept cool you see all this black peat called Blanket Peat on top of the mountain. I think it's called that. Anyway, <clears throat> very good if you can come all the way up, cut it and dry it, but for firewood or for the fire. But I think they're stopping doing that now. They're doing their own thing because it's a non-renewable resource. And it is pretty stunning. Beautiful. Yeah, to, to see you did the lamb get up. Yeah. Is he alright? He doesn't. Come on, little fella. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, he's so tiny. He's a few yeah, days old. A, a a scour, look. Yeah. Oh. He's not very well, is he? He's yeah, very thin. Scouring. Oh. It, it might be beasts and still. It might just be born this night. Yeah, it could be. The navel string still on him. Um, no. 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 He's not very well. Yeah, he's lively though. He's okay. He might be okay. That's got to be up. It's got to be more. The Glen of Ahern down there. Some furze bushes and this is Bushka River. I can hear it. And there's some sheep. We're seeing all these sheep everywhere. They seem to just kind of be a bit annoyed that we're here. They carry on like, you know, but if we interrupt them in a, a particularly enthusiastic nibble, they get very mad. But they can go back to it, sure. So we've just made it down and we've just come through this little farm yard here and this little old farmhouse here 
and it's pretty much road all the way down now to the car. We've left uh, mum and our dad and uh, my uncle up to do the rest um, to climb Galti Bjog and Galti Moor. We just climbed Kush today because my hip is still sore and we're not as fit as them. But we'll get that fit. But still, we had um, lots of sheepy friends to keep us happy. And um, we're still seeing them all around. They're everywhere. We've had sheep field. Look at that little lemmy. Oh, this one's coming and running. We've interrupted them from their sleeps. We were on that mountain. It's pretty, pretty, pretty.